This book is called Bend and Stretch. And we're going to learn about our bones and our muscles today. It's written by Pamela Hill Nettleton. She says, tap your foot, wave your hand at a friend. How does your body do that? It uses bones and muscles. Inside your body, you have a skeleton made of bones. Bones are strong and hard, and bones help hold your body upright. Muscles are like bundles of stretchy rubber bands that hold your bones together. They are attached to your bones and help you move. You and a giraffe have the same number of neck bones. The giraffes are just bigger bones than your neck bones. When you were a baby, you had more bones than you do right now. Babies have about 300 bones that are soft and flexible, like firm rubber. Some bones join together as you get older. Your bones also get harder as you grow. Adults have 206 bones that are hard and strong. Around age 25, all of your bones will be hard, and then you stop growing. If your skeleton were made of metal, you'd be too heavy to move. Your bones are strong, but light. Bones are light and easy to move because they are not solid inside. Instead, they are filled with a jelly-like substance called bone marrow. Bone marrow's job is to make new blood cells. So on the outside of our bones, it's actually smooth. Bones protect the important parts of your body. Your skull protects your brain. Your rib cage protects your heart, lungs, and stomach. Your longest bone is your thigh bone, called your femur, and your smallest bone is behind your eardrum. Grab your elbow, feel it bend and move. Your elbow's a joint. A joint is a place where two bones meet. A joint is a good place to see how muscles work. Your muscles attach to bones on each side of a joint. The muscles stretch and shrink as the joint is straightened and bent. So here's your shoulder joint and your elbow joint. And then there's muscles that run along the side of your humerus. And these muscles stretch and shrink as you bend and straighten your elbow. Muscles that help your skeleton move are called skeletal muscles. These muscles get bigger and stronger when you make them work. That's why figure skaters have big legs big leg muscles and that's why basketball players have big arm muscles amazing you have more than 630 muscles did you ever break a bone and then you know that bones are alive and growing they can mend and get better did you ever pull a muscle Pulling a muscle is actually tearing your muscle. Muscles can heal like bones too. Some muscles work on their own. Your heart's a muscle and it ju does just that. Works all by itself. Exercise is good for your muscles. So ride a bike, chase a ball. Moving keeps your muscles strong. Exercise is good for bones, too. Bones and muscles also like it when you eat right and drink lots of water. That helps them work well. Make a face. Your face has more than 30 muscles. 
Take good care of your bones. Wear a helmet when you ride a bike. Wear elbow and knee pads when you skate on skateboards. This says, what muscles work the hardest? What do you think? The muscles that work the hardest are your eye muscles. They move about 100,000 times a day. Take good care of your muscles. Stretch them every day. Reach for the sky. I'm going to read you some of these interesting facts about your bones and your muscles. Your tongue is a group of muscles. Tendons are cords that connect a bone to a muscle. Most people have 12 pairs of ribs. Some people have extras. Hmm, I wonder if I do. Your skull is made up of 30 different bones. Your skull is up here. Remember, that's what protects your brain. One foot and ankle has 52 bones. One hand and wrist has 50 four bones and your femur is the longest bone in your body and that's from your hip to your knee. Can you name some joints in your body? Remember a joint's a place where two bones meet. I want you to think about it. See if you can come up with three. Most joints are places where you can bend. You have more than 230 joints in your body. Did you, did you think of three? One could be your elbow, your knee, ankles, wrists, your neck, your fingers, your hips, your shoulders, and your toes. To check your bones, your doctor might take an x-ray. Anybody ever have an x-ray? An x-ray machine takes pictures through your skin and muscles, and then your doctor looks at the pictures. An x-ray can show a broken or cracked bone. To check your muscles, your doctor may ask you to twist and bend. She or he will watch to see if it's easy or hard for you. That's how they check your muscles. So, let's keep track of our bones and our muscles and do things that will help them stay big and strong, grow big and strong, exercise, eating right, and drinking lots of water.